welcome to DWI Steeler segment. I'm Illy, that's Wax, that's Duve, we're DWI, delivery with intent, and we're going to give it to you straight like that. So without further ado, we can give it to you. Sit right there. No, don't sit right there. Go grab a snack, some popcorn maybe, and a drink. We'll be right back. Is your mind blown or what? Hell yeah, man. It's a, it's a new it's a new age, It's man. almost like it's a new day. It is. You get it. it Matter of fact, you is. asked for it, you got it, Wax. Mm-hmm. You said you needed some changes to happen, I didn't sure you? I sure did. I so sure did. It's yeah. like they shook up the world. And I'm happy with them. I'm happy with, like, a lot that's going on in our organization right, right now. They're not sitting on their hands. They're making moves. Khan is doing his goddamn thing, man. Like, he's getting a couple of, like, veterans and new players for cheap. Right. Like, I, I mean, what more can you ask for? Right. Well, I like to just say shout out to Mr. Khan, Omar Khan, that is. That's Shaka and them uh, first cousin and them <laughs> people. So, you know what I mean? I like to say shout out to Mr. Khan. He definitely made the adjustments, dude. Yeah, he did. It's almost like they heard us, Coach T. I know you hear us out there, man. I know you do. I told you, fellas. I, matter of fact, I told y'all at home that I know a couple of new gentlemen personally. And I'm sure they've been sharing and passing the message along on how we're feeling. We had the trial for gripe sakes, mm-hmm. Wax. Or should I say, attorney motherfucking uh, Wax Cochran. Yes. And you got to say Wax Cochran. It's the whole name. It's like a pimp named Slickback. Right. You have to say the whole name. The whole title. Correct. You know what I mean? So, you know, you got it, man. You asked for it, you got it. Dude, you said that you needed a punter. You said you needed help in that secondary. You said you needed help in that middle. What's going on, man? Like, what? Listen, what? He, did, he did his damn thing. I, I, the most help, you know, what we needed was the quarterback, and he, right. he I didn't address the shit out of that. I'm like, bruh. Like, I did not expect that, bruh. I did not expect right. it. You so, how you feeling about it, man? I'm feeling good about it, man. Like, you know what I mean? We, he made some good moves, man. He... he for nothing. We got Russell Wilson pretty much for nothing. I saved that portion for you, right. my friend. We, we got Russell Wilson for like a million bucks, which is crazy. And uh, and Justin Fields for a six-round pick. <laughs> Six-rounder, like, that's nothing. That's pennies on the right. dollar. Right. And uh, Kenny, you know, it is what it is, Kenny. Like, thanks for the service, but you know, I guess they wasn't liking the way you was reacting to all of this stuff. You know what I mean? They, they thought you had... You know, a, a more uh, testicular fortitude than that, but you didn't. So, so let me ask you this: Was he giving a lot of these after what they said? Like, well, you already know. <sighs> he wanted his turn. Can you growl in the NFL? You think right now? Like, is it time to growl when we're <laughs> trying to rebuild the franchise? Wax. Right. You called it out. You said you're sick of mediocre seasons. Mm-hmm. I definitely The little stew they got brewing out there right now, it don't look like it's a recipe for disaster. Right. I mean, we we soon shall see. I'm like, I think we'll do all right this year, actually. I know I was worried about the messing with Kenny's confidence. Right. You know what I mean? But, like, if you're going to act like that, then beat it. Like, we don't need you. Right. Like, that that was some ho shit. Pardon my French. That was some ho shit. Super ho shit. Because you ain't that good enough to be acting no, like that. No, not at all. I blame I blame uh, participation trophies, man. Like, mm-hmm. There you go. Like, man. this dude, that act like he, was just, he just had to be the, the starting quarterback. Like, you got to earn that. It's the NFL. Right. You don't get to just jump in and think just because, you know what I mean, you was picked at a certain point that you just have the job. Like, you got to earn it. I was about to say, the only thing you've done – in Pittsburgh history was fake slide for a touchdown. Right. Tell me something else. Tell me anything else. Well, here I go being a heel because I got to do that. I got to represent for the people that feel like Kenny got a raw deal. Right, right. He gets hurt. Right. Okay. Then he rehabs, comes back to his position being taken. So, in Kenny's defense, not only did I get my position taken, but now you put me back in the lineup to interview almost for a job I already got. But if you wasn't playing up the potential, you don't have the right to be mad about shit. This now, is business. Okay, if I might ask, what's potential? Because like when I was in there, we weren't losing. I mean, we, we lost. We necessarily weren't winning either. Right. He, like His record is 14 and 11, so that ain't really 
nothing to really hold your hat on to act like you solidified at the job. So, I mean, he got he got a raw deal in a couple of different ways. I would say yes and no as far as that. Like, no, because he was missing guys. Like, if you watch some of the tape, he's just missing guys all right. over the field. He's rolling out to the wrong way, getting sacked. Yes, I would say only because of he was hampered by – Matt Canada, you know what I mean? Well, like, and that's that's something else I wanted to bring up. Yeah, so go ahead. He had Matt Canada, so like he he wasn't set up for success. I give him I give him his credit right. or his 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 excuse for that somewhat. But even still, even with all that, you're still missing guys that are open. Okay, right? now some might say they gave Matt Canada more time back there. Wax, they gave him more chances and more opportunities to make us look bad. So why cut Kenny so prematurely? Well, because he didn't want to be there. For mm-hmm. one, like um, they they told him that he was gonna have to try out for the starting position again, and that kind of pissed him off. Rubbed him the wrong way. Yeah, but he right. has not done enough to solidify that spot as a starter. I mean, like he he got injured as a starter, but prior to that, to him getting injured, his his play was mediocre at best. Right. So basically, what you're saying is that 14 and 11 record is like being the tallest in the land of the giants. Everybody's tall. Everybody's tall. You're just the tallest. Right. So it doesn't really matter around here with that 14 and 11 record. Right. Because your productivity doesn't outweigh the shit that you missed especially, opportunity wise. Especially when Mason came in and looked a oh, couple he was in, and looked a couple inches taller than you. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean? So that's why, you know, I don't I don't fault them for going with Mason. We all we all applauded it because it's like, you know, he got in there and Looked like an actual quarterback for the first time in two years that we've seen. So, I you mean, know. Mason is a big motherfucker, though, man. Mason's not little. No, he's know? not. And as my brother would say, you know, he calls Pickett the guy that can't hold a whopper. Like, you remember that commercial <laughs> back in the day? I just saw hand. that. I just saw that. And, you know, shout out to my little brother, Rico. You know what I mean? Keep it fly. Now, remember, I was the one, like, I think we should start. Pick it just because, like I said, it would mess with his confidence. Right. But like after hearing what he was like doing behind the scenes, man, I, he I'm, was beatboxing. I'm glad he's gone. He I'm was kinda, beatboxing. I'm kind of glad that they got rid of him. They granted his wish, and they sent him to, to Philadelphia, where he's never going to get a chance to play. I'm not going to say never. Shit. Never's forever. Shit. He, he'll play like if they get deep into the playoffs and start and sit their starters. Right. You know what I mean? Or or if Jalen Hurts get hurt, which I hope doesn't happen. Right. You know, but you know it it is a possibility that he could get injured right. and then Kenny. But who's to say he's even the second option? Yeah, you, know, you know what I mean? And so. will, and will he get in there and look better than Jalen Hurts? I doubt it. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? You know so. Cause they already plus they already gave Jalen Hurts all that money, so they're not gonna sit him down for Kenny who ain't getting nothing. Speaking know? of money, what about that money we gave Deontay Johnson, dude? How you feeling about that? Do you feel like it was just up and smoke? No, I mean he served his purpose, but you know he 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 complained his way out of town. I mean, shout out to Omar Khan, he ain't with it. Like, when you say served his purpose, how do you mean? Because like me and Wax, I'm not saying that you didn't, but we've seen a whole other ball game out there. It was, in my eyes, right. Deontay Johnson was like the kid that finished his, pl- uh, his plate first and put his hand up. Like, <laughs> I'm done. Right. Like, so? Right. And he did it when there wasn't a contest. As far as getting open, Wax, that's a part of the job. Right. If you're a wide receiver, you have to get yourself open. Right. Make yourself accessible. Exactly. As far as what the quarterback needs. Right. right. That's a part of the job. Right. right. So hearing that he is the most... Uh, how should I say, uh, open option as far as he can get open the most. That right. doesn't matter to me because what are you doing once you get open and that ball's coming? Right. You ain't you know catching I mean? it. No. You know what I mean, what good is being open if you ain't catching the ball? There you go. Right. What good is being open for a business if you got no business? Right. That's it. It, it, it is what it is. Are you, are, I, I was happy with that choice. Yeah, are I, you I sad to see him go, dude? No. Not at all. Because he was, too, he was more trouble than what he was worth. It's like you know when you're the man and you you get little amenities that where you can you can huff and puff a little bit because you're the man and, right and when, but once your if your production doesn't match your attitude <laughs> your complaints yeah it's like then they can do without you like they can find another one of you mm-hmm. that's you know that's how it is in the NFL right. especially with Omar Khan and Mike Tomlin these days they're like look like Mike Tomlin said he he wants. Uh, 
volunteers, not hostages. Right, right. So, and and if you act like a hostage, they will ship you out of here. You know what I mean? They, they'll let you go. No negotiation or nothing. They're like, yeah. nah, you can have him. Yeah. Because we don't want him. We want somebody that wants to be here. Right. And at the end of the day, it's a business. Yeah. Right. They're not doing this for free. This right. is like, this is a business. I mean, you know we I mean? didn't show up to see the referees. Right. We, we came to, we paying you to do a job. And if right. you can't do that job, then we'll see you later. Right. So we'll let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask y'all a question. What do you think Russell's going to do this year? As far as Russ, you think Russ is going to fit in right with the offense? You think he's an upgrade over Kenny Pickett? You want to go first? Because if I'll, not, I'll go first. I'll go first because yeah. I've, I've been hating on this dude since they even brought his name into the mix. Right. Well, who brought his name up first? You. I mean, oh, like, okay. out of us? Me? You. You okay. did. Okay. So, you so, so he was coming I to could... Pittsburgh. I'm like, I don't believe that. Do you know why I knew that? Mm-hmm. Because I was wheeling and or <laughs> dealing. But Wax, go ahead. I just wanted to add oh, that no to doubt. you. Okay, no go doubt. ahead. I'm like, I'm not even going to start off by hating. I'm going to give this man a chance, even though he's like a little bit washed and he didn't do too too great in Denver. Right. You know what I mean? I'm going to give him a chance and let him like try to produce for us. But like, if if he does fail, I'm going to be the first one to say, I told y'all so. <laughs> right. I told y'all. But, you know, before <laughs> all of that, I hope he, he, he can come in here, learn the system, and he produces for us. But before all of that, I need them to do us a favor, Wes. What's that? I need them to click like, mm-hmm. share, right. and or subscribe. There you go. Right there. How much does it cost you to share something, Wax? It's absolutely free, and it don't cost you a thing. Okay. So basically, what it is is that we're taking a loss right now, like baby Billy. <laughs> I'm selfishly, <laughs> not selfishly, selflessly giving this up right now. Mm-hmm. It's a wash. You dig what I'm saying? Take it it's a wash. From the jump. I'm not charging nothing for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is free. <laughs> All y'all need to do is click, like, share, and or subscribe. Or do both. And get in that comment section. Let us know how y'all feel about it. You know what I mean? Like, we want to hear what y'all think, too. They get shy out there, dude. It's like, I, they're, they're bashful. Dude. You don't want to take. My, my. I <laughs> declare. I a shy southern man. <laughs> it don't take shit. We the ones up here. We got the ridicule to go through, wax. Right. You know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, them niggas think they doing something. But at the same time, it's at the expense of your happiness. We want y'all to come into our world. Come in. Come on in. You dig what I'm saying? It's cold outside. Hell yeah. Go on here and sit down. Put your feet up. Not on my good furniture, but put them up. You dig what I'm saying? Get cozy. That's it. Get cozy. Because we're going to be here for a while. And it don't cost you a thing like I keep saying. My man. It's absolutely free. You got a couple dollars I can borrow? Nah. Okay. But I I don't need them because this is free. (laughs) (laughs) You dig? I dig it. I don't need them. So with that being said... Click like, subscribe, and share just to pass on the word because we want to bring it to y'all every single week. But this week is something fucking special. What do you think Russ is going to do this year? Like, what, what's your what's your synopsis on what, what Russ is going to do? Me personally, being that I called it first, mm-hmm. before it was even a thought on anybody's mind, I think he's going to show up. All right. I don't know about show out. Right. But we're talking about... We don't, we don't really need him to show out. No. Nah, just to show up. Yeah, we just need him to show up and just don't don't fuck up. No. Nah, I manage the game. Right. That's we are it. talking to a Super Bowl winner. Right. You know what I mean? He right. made it there one year, then went right back the next year. Right. So, you know. And well, as far he as ain't me, no slouch. I think, like, when, <laughs> whenever you brought it up with me and Book Wax is like, nah, man, fuck that nigga. But... I was saying that from from a money standpoint, like I didn't want to pay him because he's making like forty million a year. Right. So I'm like, we can't. Well, I don't want to pay him that. But for a million, yeah. Can I say this though? Go ahead. I don't care why you said it. You said it. Yeah. Either hey. they said it. Forty million. Billy's dude. never wrong. Let's see yeah, right. <laughs> Russell been kicking rocks for forty million. You know, you know why? Yeah. Because I'm doing a, a quick thing. Is that a window up? Oh, shit! I jumped out of that son of a bitch, dude. I don't give a fuck. I told you I could have been breached. I could have been born feet first, and I made it. I'm going to call that shit because I feel it in my bones, man. So I'm elated about him coming here. 
Right. I'm not excited to the point where I'm getting ready to be like, oh, shit, we got a black quarterback. No, we got two black quarterbacks. Just and at that, that first say, time in franchise history. I say, speaking of that, like, what do you all think about the Justin Fields trade for a six-round pick? Yeah. Come on. Good shit, bro. Yeah. Good shit. What do, you, what do you think his, his role is going to be? You think he's going to compete for the, for the start or you think he's going to be a backup? What he's doing right now is he has to learn the system on how to be a quarterback, period, the right, right way. Right. Russ knows how. He knows it as far as, like, the PR department on how to act right. on and off the field. I mean, Russ really ain't had too many things no, dirty polished. his name up. He's polished. And not to mention he's one of, the, you know, a ship. Been the two, you know what I mean? And I got to give, I mean, granted, he screwed up that last play, and I think that might have been a part of taking that, his confidence. That wasn't even his fault, though. It wasn't. It was Pete's. Yeah. But to be the quarterback throwing that, if I would give you my lawnmower, and it's on its last leg, mm -hmm. and it's not broken, but there's a potential for it to be broken, but neither one of us know that because it looks good. Right. It's still running. You, you borrow it and bring it back broken, who's responsible for my lawnmower? Me. So, with that being said, if Russ threw that pass, oh, he's not, dude, you say it all the time. Just because you don't, you're not cognizant of something doesn't mean that you're not guilty of it. Right. So, I'm going to put this in that category. He threw the pass. It was a dumbass play. It was the dumbest play I ever seen the in the worst, history of the NFL. The worst call. Pete Carroll deserves a raspberry so for that. <laughs> that was bullshit, Pete. Yeah, it was. You know what I mean? We're delivering fresh raspberries. He's got beast mode in the yeah. back, ready to tote the rock. He was running like a fucking baron the whole night, Wax, a fucking oil baron, just running around the middle of the Middle East. They needed five yards, and they decided to pass the ball. That was the worst call in NFL history. To my understanding, it was one. I thought it was on the one know. yard. I mean, I know it was... You know, I forget it was short. Like, yeah, it was like the three or two yeah. or something like that. It was he close. had over a hundred yards that night. Oh, it was a bonehead play call. So you know, so but you, he has. But so you definitely, definitely didn't put him, put Russ in the right position to, to no. succeed. No, or the team. I wouldn't say Russ. He didn't put the team in the right position to succeed at that it, point. But as to being the person that threw the pass, I'm sure that you got. A lot of things going through your mind, my yeah, nigga. But he was it, it, third it, year. It's like his third or second year. I in the get league, it, but you so. can't shake that shit off, bro. It yeah. almost seemed like they, they called the pass so Russ would get the MVP right. of the Super Bowl. I can understand you know that, I mean? but from that from that but, close. And not Marshawn Lynch. Right. It's still stupid. Where anyway you slice it, it's just dumb. Dude, you could have grabbed the ball and fell forward and got the touchdown. Right. And you go home a winner twice. Right. A two peat wax. Mm -hmm. A double up. Because, I mean, in some situations, I don't believe it unless it happens twice. Right. So, you know, there that goes. But to have Russell being in that position and then have a young guy like Fields right. to back his play, right. okay, in the event that something happens to Russ, we got a fucking healthy-ass quarterback right there ready right. to go. A right. mobile quarterback at that. Right. I mean, he needs to work on a couple things, but, like, you know, He's pretty decent. Like right. he was decent in college. He was like mediocre with the Bears, but that's with the Bears. He needs to work on a couple things, like a couple of his mechanics. Like I, I was watching old clips of him with the Bears, right? And he his spirals weren't tight. It was like he was throwing a couple ducks, loosey like, gooses. You know what I mean? But he is a mobile quarterback, and right. you know it is what it is. But I'll gladly take him. Right. Period. Like, I'm kind of excited. Especially for the way we got him. Are, yeah, you, are yeah. you pissed off about that six-round draft pick? Not at all. Mm -hmm. Not at all. That was pennies. Because they were saying. Who are we getting at, the, at that point? Doesn't even matter. Right? You know what I mean? Because they were off. saying before at, like, they were saying, like, uh, they wanted, like, a second-round pick. First, they wanted a first-round pick. And they, nobody was giving them that. But then they were saying second round. Then it went to third round. And ended up settling for a six-rounder next year. Not even this mm -hmm. year. Next year, six rounds. So we still got somebody to get, you right. know what I mean, in, in, in the upcoming round. <laughs> right. That means we still kept our pick like you can hear. And they was like, what? You took that motherfucker right yeah. back there. Like, oh. and, we, and we moved up in, uh, to get with, with the Kenny pick. We moved up. Mm -hmm. In that in that fourth round, I think we moved from the fifth round to the fourth round. Okay, now now listen to this, Professor, as my boy E would call you. <laughs> if you're moving up as far as what the Kenny like situation for trading him, right? What does that mean as far as our opportunity to pick somebody that we really need? 
It helps. Yeah. Now you said we were down a center. We are. We don't have a we don't have a starting one. Could we one pick one in those rounds that we gave up for Kenny? Maybe. Right. But yeah, man. Even even you when you was talking about we needed a punter. Yeah. Bruh, why would you come for the punter, man? Out of all people to come for, man. Because he was trash, man. He was putting us in terrible positions, man. Right. I'm glad and that we got counts. a new guy. Yeah. Right. I'm, glad, I'm glad we got a new one. Let's see what he does because he can't be any worse. Right. You know what I mean? And and even though it's just a punter, like, that shit matters. It you does. know what I mean? Every, every yard matters. And if you're kicking it and we're getting 20 yard net punts, like when it could be a forty-five or a fifty-yard net, right? Point. Like that's thirty yards that they don't. That you know, what I mean, that's, they don't have to go for. Right, that's thirty yards that the defense has to make up for. Right, and, and the defense is super tired. Speaking of the defense, don't say it. <sighs> don't say it. That was the signing of the of the, of the off season right there for he me. He said it, Wax. Mm-hmm. Who are you Queen. talking about? Patrick Queen. Okay. I've okay. been listening. I've been watching that dude for a minute, and he's he's just nice to me. What's man. your thoughts, bro? As far as that middle, because we said we, we need, needed, we all yeah, we did, we needed that. Yeah. Like, since since Shay's ear been hurt, we, we haven't had that. that we haven't had that guy. And, dude, and right. Patrick Queen, I think, can fill that role, man. To me, it's about creating a presence in that middle, and he does that. If you solidify that middle wax. And make sure that that middle, like, you cannot come through this motherfucker half-stepping. Right. Or I will make an example out of you. Right. And the two guys on the infield the same. As far as outside, I don't mean in, and the two guys on the outside feel the same. Right. What the fuck you going to do now, dude? They're going to be tough, man. <clears throat> what you think about Queen Wax? You, do you like that pickup? I'm I'm all the way with it because he used to give us a little bit of problems. A little bit. Like, that boy you know was creating I mean? havoc back then. He's he's coming up, controlling like the middle and shit. Like I I fuck with him and I'm glad that we picked him up. Right. You know what I mean? And, and not like he's like one of the pieces that we need on our defense right. to help everybody out. And he's going to make a couple tackles and solo tackles and maybe even get him a couple pick. Like you said. We've been paying attention to him. Why? He was the opposition, dude. Right. So what better to do but pay attention to what the fuck your ops is doing? Mm-hmm. At that That's point, right. I know how to deal with it. Right. I mean, and we swept them last year, so, you know. So so basically, the viewers at home, they, they probably think it's checkers, Wax. Is it checkers? Oh. Dude, is it checkers? No. Nah. It's chess. At that point, Patrick Queen seems like a checkmate in that middle, fellas. And I'm definitely happy to have him, man. Right. So, with that being said, I feel like our defense is starting to come together like butt cheeks. Mm-hmm. Put your poop in the group <laughs> and get your shit together. We are. We got it figured out. Right. So, so far. So yeah. far, so good. And, yeah. And, and, and speaking of the defense, we made another pickup. Deshaun Elliott. Oh! Who's a thumper back good there call. at safety. You back. just showed me a clip on that cat last week. He's a thumper, man. He hit Henry, as a matter of fact. The clip hurt, you showed him. Yeah, and hurt him. He, he sent Henry to the, to the sideline <laughs> hurt. I'm like, oh, shit. Hey, Wax, you remember when them hits, them, 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 them unexpected hits, them thump hits, mm-hmm. that make a motherfucker be like, wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> I don't feel right. <laughs> Getting up slow, like, wait a minute. It soothes that flash issue. And for y'all at home, that's a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> if it looks like you're taking a picture and everything goes black, but you can see everything over there, mom over there waving like this, the whole fucking team over there doing what they're doing, and you go... And it looks black, but it's a flash. Mm. Oh, that's a concussion. <laughs> if we would have had concussion protocol back then, dude, a lot of us wouldn't have been playing the second half. <laughs> right. But being that we didn't, coaches had their way, get your ass back in there. We go back in there and shit like, oh, shit. Asking okay. our teammates, right. like, what's the play again? Right. Uh, asking right. our teammates, like, what's today's day? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we can't remember shit today. Right? Hell no. <laughs> They think it's all that grand, that devil's lettuce we right. smoked back in the day. All them concussions we had as, Thank as, you. as children. There was no protocol. <laughs> Oklahoma drills. <laughs> Speaking of which, do y'all remember the Oklahoma drills when you had pretty much everybody divided up? You got some over here, some over there. And you're laying with your head facing your team on each side. They blow that whistle. Somebody's carrying a ball, somebody's tackling. But you can't go out of these cones. You go outside of the cones, you're you might as well go home. You're doing it again. You might as well go. But you're not doing it again with the guy that you had, you know, that was right there. Oh, you're getting uh, bad 
badass M- Miguel Agani coming up there. Hey, badass, come up here real quick. Mm-hmm. Show him how it's done. That yeah, motherfucker's yeah, coming up that. like. <laughs> <laughs> and they sit you down. You should have went the first the, the, the first time. Right. But you opted to be a little bayouch. And you went outside of those cones and badasses down there. That motherfucker hops up. Like it's Sunday fucking morning. That motherfucker's up like, bow! And you take your grand old time on getting up thinking that I'm young. They may have mercy on me. Whatever you're thinking. And that motherfucker hits you like you took something off of him. Yo. Dude, that Oklahoma drill was real. Right. It was real. I, I don't know how to put it, man. It was just one of those things that I hated the whole time we played football, but it was a necessity. I'll right. say this. It made a bunch of basketball players. Yes, it did. That shit made and a bunch of stars. basketball yeah, Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. That was our big deal. You can't beat me in a race. Shit. Fuck that shit. I'm trying to see who can go head up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That made a lot of maniacs, too. Yeah. Hell yeah. It ain't that, you know what I mean, like, your daughter's dating an insecure man. Like, we're just crazy from the... <laughs> <laughs> from that head-to-head combat. <laughs> I love your daughter. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Yeah, I do. Bitch, I love us both. Like, all of that shit, man. Football is one of those sports that if you ain't who you say you are... It's going to show. Right over there. Go mm-hmm. ahead and sit down because we can't use you. You're a liability at this point. Right. You're just taking up somebody else's space. Fucking right. Yeah, and, uh, man. How you feel about it, dude? About what? About fields. Uh, I, I love the pickup. You know what I mean? Like, Was know. it necessary to you? Yeah. We only had one quarterback on the roster after we got rid of Kenny, so... Now, what we happens that. for that, that third spot? Or we I draft don't know. Them? They might draft one. They might end up picking up somebody for the league minimum. They might pick up Tannehill maybe later on. But uh, Would you be mad? No, because we got Russell and we got him to be backup. So, whoever's third, it really doesn't matter anyway. So, Huge question for your boy Wax, dude. That pickup that we did that wasn't on the field, it was off the field. That offensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. We got a new OC, too. I'm real happy with that. Cause you feel me? Canada was just, he just wasn't cutting it, man. Right. Like, I think the whole country knew that we was going to get rid of him. Like, mm-hmm. um, I I was hoping that they did it during our break, but they waited a couple more, like, couple weeks and then got rid of him. But mm-hmm. I'm happy with it, man. I, I can't wait to see what this guy brings, and I can't wait to see what him and Tomlin get into. Right, right. You know. I wasn't super enthralled with it. I'm not mad at it. But I wasn't more, I wasn't like, ah, it just, anybody's better than Canada, honestly. Mm-hmm. But I would have rather had somebody um, with a more, um, how, how can I say it? Uh, like a like a like a new school approach to throwing the ball and everything. He's more of an old school, which is right around what we usually do, run the ball. Right. You know what I mean? Run the ball good. You know what I mean? So it fits, it fits our um, philosophy on football, so that's why they went with him. But I would have rather had somebody that was younger, that was, like a, yeah, like a Shanahan, somebody that's like smart, analytics, yeah, guy. somebody like that. But that's just me. Now I'm with it though. With that new <laughs> OC, him and Tannehill get back together. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, if, if Tannehill was in there, we're in trouble because I mean, <laughs> Russell stunk and Field stunk. So like, if if we got to run with Tannehill, it's a it's a bad year anyway. So, ah, shit, that's but, crazy. I got you though, bro. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is, right? So we, we leave it at that, right? Let, let's just fucking go. Let's go right. Steelers, right? Man. You know what I mean, like. I'm not going to hate until they give me a reason to hate. Right. You I'm not even mean? calling that shit. I'm right. not even speaking that into existence. What's that? I feel like the hate or any of that. Oh, I feel yeah. like we can redo the damn thing. Right. I'm not going to give a prediction yet because nah. it's not warranted Plus, yet. We still have the draft. So All right. And the draft is coming up. Being that you're not biased, but you're, you know, proactive as far as making sure the interior right. guys up front are in the places they need to be. Who you picking first? I'm either going, like, in the first round, I'm going either wide receiver or 
linemen, offensive linemen. You know what I mean? But I probably would go wide receiver because we're we're kind of short at wide receiver now that we got rid of uh, Deontay. They picked up what's his name, uh, Van Jefferson. Right. Mm-hmm. He's yeah, I mean, he's he's solid, but like he's not he's not gonna you know he's not gonna move the needle. So I. I and they said this year is really, really deep in wide receiver. You can get a stud in wide receiver. So right. I would pick a wide receiver first and maybe a center. Okay. Wax? I, I feel the same way. I would probably work on our line first and then get, you know, start drafting receivers. Right. Because I know, like like you said, we can get some studs in the later rounds. We but usually do. Yeah. And, but, like, we need to protect our quarterbacks right. first and foremost and our running right. backs. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's go line in and then, you know, receivers. Now, before I answer this, because I, I want to run it right back because you seem to have a great idea on what our needs and wants are as far as our interior. So I'm going to rock with that. I'm going to give it a chance for once in my life. <laughs> are you going to go offense and defense? Or offense of line, excuse, are you going to go offensive line and defensive line? Or are you going to go offensive line, receiver, defensive line? I probably I probably go offensive line, um, receiver, and then defensive line. If anything, listen. I hope we get the young boy Harrison, man. I don't know why I'm feeling like we get ready to have yeah. a motherfucking receiver. That, nah, that boy, Mar- going, that boy yeah. going top four. Or I five, know, yeah. man. But some but motherfuckers. I'm, I'm sorry. I was about to say maybe Khan can work some more magic. That's what I'm saying. Like, Behind the scenes, or some people might look at him like, ah, oh, he'll make you know. Ain't no telling what he's going to be asking for as far as demand-wise, so they may, you know, nah, shut They up. can't demand shit. Nah, I, I just know he's he's going top five. Every mock draft that I've seen, he's going in the top he's in five. It. He's in the top five every damn one. So I doubt that he'll get to 20, you know what I mean? And, and to move up into the top five would take a lot. A lot. Yeah. It would take years of draft picks, and, and I, I doubt they want to do that, especially because they said – you know, like I said, the wide receiver draft this year is so deep that you can, you know, you can get a, get a good. Pick. Yeah, it's not going to be as good as him because he's he's lights Top out. Notch. Yeah, he's lights out. If he's anything like his dad, and he might be better, which is hey, which, hey, hey, which hey. is crazy. That's Watch what I'm saying. Physically, he might be better than his dad. I'm not, I'm not saying he's going to have the same career as his dad. What you mean, spec wise? Yeah, like physically, physical his attributes. Yeah. yeah, but he don't have Peyton Manning, so there you go. Now, if you get a Peyton Manning and him, like somebody like that, poetry yeah. emotion. Yeah, it was written right as Nas as Nas would say. Because who knows what Marvin Harrison would have been without Peyton Manning? True. Because like, that's the thing is when you for a receiver like you really need the quarterback too. Like those two those yeah. tandems they work hand in hand. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can have the dopest cat in the world, but if he ain't got nobody to throw the ball to him. He What's he going to be? Damn, right. bro. Yeah, he's not worth the damn. All right. Now, as far as Russ back there for me and Fields, I feel like we have an opportunity to run whatever the fuck we want to run. Right. I feel like they're going to hit all of our trigger points. Everything that Pickens was whining about last year, he's going to get an opportunity to show who he really is. Facts. Because they're going to target on him every chance they, they get. Better. He's writing his numbers. They better. But, but. what is that young man going to do with it? TBD. <laughs> To be determined. Listen, if he does not ball out this year with a bunch of targets, I'm officially They're coming for him. I'm gonna officially like back jump back off the uh, the, the pick and trade. Yeah, because like that that's my young dude. I, I've been rocking with him since we signed him. I, I like to pick up, but like I mean, you know, whenever he doesn't get the ball, he starts acting all. Diva-ish. Yeah, wishy-washy. And that, yeah, and I don't like that, man. That's not what we do. Nah. I think that's why they got rid of Deontay Johnson, because they didn't want that to keep, like, infecting George mm-hmm. Pickens. They didn't want George Pickens to watch him throw a tantrum every week and think that that's what he can do, too. Oh, so he's like sitting there watching. Like, yeah. <sighs> right. He's like, I, I celebrate when we're down 30 points? Yeah, I can do that. Like, no, that's that's a bad move. It's the worst that's, attitude to have. Right. If they're giving you millions of dollars to do what you love to do, why not do it to the best of your ability? Right. That's my whole argument. For the love of the game. For the too, love of the man. game, Wax. Y'all remember how bad he celebrated? Like, how, how happy he was when he f- caught his first touchdown in over a year? Yeah. Like, that, that pissed me off so bad. Like, but that's just me. I, like, I didn't uh, like to see I mean, that shit. I was always told, act like you've been there. Mm, when you right. score a touchdown, act like you've been there before. Mm-hmm. 
You know, this isn't my first rodeo. I've been in this exact same end zone 55 times. Right. So right. this is nothing new to me. Right. That's just it. So, you know, you're right, dude, 125,000%. Right. They're no longer accepting the mediocrity of what the team has to offer them. That was and like, then they're going to take full accountability as coaches mm -hmm. on why or why not. That was my key word when we debated Mike Tomlin. I remember. You know what I mean? I don't like the mediocrity that was going on. Like, everybody was just cool with it. Like, right. Cool for, with, like, losing a lot and just barely squeaking into the playoffs. And like, for those of y'all that don't know, go back a couple yes. episodes. We even got it marked down there. It's, it's down below what you're watching right now. And it's... uh. The top of the uh, trial, of, trial of the century. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we Tomlin. definitely put uh, Mike Tomlin on trial for his goods and bads as far as being a tenure coach here in Pittsburgh. Right. So, I'm going to tell you this right now. <clears throat> the way we got shit looking now, dude, it's a recipe for success. It is. I'm excited. Tomlin stepped his game up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Tomlin stepped. It's up to Tomlin to step his game up now. This is Omar okay. Khan. All right, it's up to Tomlin to step his game up. What you think, dude? Yeah, because Cole Marcon's doing, Phil seems like he's doing his part. You said it at the beginning of the season. It was more than just a quarterback. Right. You just knew that it was a quarterback that it was going to have to ride on the back of him. Right. You said lineman, lineman. You was, you, I mean, dude, wax. He was up here telling us this shit a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, man, I, because I understand a line is the key to your success, but you have to have successors behind the line right. making that shit happen. Right. The people that put the asses in the seats. Right. The linemen do the dirty work, the thankless jobs. You know, nobody's going to give the lineman its full credit. Like, damn, you cleared that whole spot out so that running back. They, they, they never do. Right. But, but that's that's what they get paid for. You know what I mean? They get paid this right here. They get paid big ching for that. Right. You know, a lot of people don't know, but linemen are pretty much the highest paid motherfuckers out there because yeah. they don't come a dime a dozen. Right. And and we got Broderick. I wonder if they're going to move him back over to the left. I don't know what they're going to do with the tackle situation because they had Broderick on the right, even right. though they drafted him to be on the left. But right. Dan, Dan Moore was on the left, and he stinks. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have nobody else to fill in for the right. So, so do you draft somebody for the right is what we was asking. You might. You might have to. You get a right tackle. We figure out what we're going to do at center. Left tackle's taken care of. And that's a recipe for the interior three. Right. To where nobody's touching the quarterback. Right. Y'all both know how important it is for our quarterback to go unscathed. Yeah. Y'all know that shit because if he's able to get that, you know, that that playoff. Right. We're going to, our success rate goes up. Our touchdowns go up. Our morale goes up, our energy goes up, our synergy goes up, and our winning goes up. Thank you. That's all I'm worried about. Right. Hell yeah. As far as trajecting the Pittsburgh Steelers into the future, how many games can we come out victors? Right. right. Because that's what it's all about anymore, yeah. dude. And and we didn't do great last year, but we still got into the playoffs. I know yeah. I, I, I'm like I hate hearing that, but it's the truth. Like right. we in the back off off the backs of somebody else to wax. Yeah, and that's true. what you be talking and, about. And that's what you be talking I about. I absolutely hate that, but we did watch <laughs> right. pretty much uh our whole uh division. You know what I mean? We 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 dropped one game to the Browns, but everybody else right. we we swept. And we did all of that with horrible quarterback play. Exactly. So let's imagine if we get just adequate quarterback play with the defense, with Patrick Queen back there. Psh, man, like I mean, they can contend. Like I don't know if we can beat the Chiefs or whatever, but they're they're beatable. Russell beat the Chiefs last year with yeah. bum ass Denver. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So we'll he see. might know the recipe. He might. Yeah. He might. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Right. So listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. On a on a different note, on a different note, like we gotta give a shout out to uh Pittsburgh kid Aaron Donald who retired. Yeah. Oh, man. Ten years definitely. in the league. Big shout out, man. shout, shout out, out to Aaron Donald, a man. Beast. He's a Super Bowl champion, three time defensive player of the year, eight time first team all pro, ten time Pro Bowl, eleven hundred eleven career sacks. You know what I'm saying? NFL 2010 All-Decade team. So, shout right. out to the Pittsburgh kid. Aaron Donald was an animal. He was, man. He was, he was something different. Right. He was yeah, cut man. from a different cloth, right. man. Where do y'all put him at on, on your all-time defenders list? 
Is he up there? For yeah, y'all, he top, he's 10. top ten. Top ten in my book. Man, I watched this motherfucker lift up a whole fucking like stadium of people, like as far as like a bench press or yeah, some shit like this. It was like awesome. a power lift. They were sitting in the stadium. They they like cut a chunk of the stadium right, on way. And this motherfucker's bench pressing this motherfucker. He's shit. an animal. It's like and he's fast. people on there. Right. He's strong and he's fast. Right. right. Like, I got him at number three on my list. Yeah, I got I got yeah. LT. Deion Sanders and then and then Aaron Donald, man. Damn. I mean shit. He was a monster. He was a monster. Hard to contain. You had to double him. But shit, that, that's I mean, but that you got want. Junior Seau. I mean he's, he's shit, you got a lot of motherfuckers on that list, man. You got Reggie White, you got Bruce Smith. I mean You got a lot of motherfuckers, but I'm putting him up there with them and over him. Right. Every right. one of them except the two I said. That's why I said top ten, because like I, I can't think of everybody right now. You know what I mean? But he No, it's he hard to do it because we're on the spot. He like. definitely deserves top ten. He's in my top ten. <clears throat> Maybe even top five, but you know, that's for another debate. Right. But he's a fucking animal and I'm I'm like happy that he came from Pittsburgh because oh, he yeah. showed his ass. Right. But we eat, sleep, and shit football. Yes, we do. Right. That's why we're bringing it to you right now, dude. That's why we're giving it to him because right. we can't wait. Right. Represent that right there, dude. Chomping at the bit. Right there. Right. That's what it is. Go ahead. So, yeah, yeah, man. So, it's going down. Yes. It's going down, man. Dude, wax. Let's go. I'll see y'all niggas in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Y'all at home, tune in. We coming right back at you. Same time, same location, different message. Peace. Peace.